Hi, it's Tessa and I'm back outside with a nail polish video. I wanted to talk about summer nail polishes. I love nail polish. I think I may have a small nail polish addiction. All right, a huge nail polish addiction, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Um, it's just that every time I go to the store, I gotta buy more and I might need help. No. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about nail polishes that I like for summer. Um, the first one I have is Julie G, and it's called Damsel, and it looks like this. It's just a pinky mauve color, very pretty. Julie G can be purchased at Rite Aid for $3.99 or on jessiesgirl.com. And let me find it here. Here it is. Here is a swatch of it. I hope it shows up in this light. Um, new to filming outside so I'm not sure how it's gonna go so there's that one the next one I have is called flip flop fantasy by China glaze it's just a bright 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 coral color it dries matte though so if you don't want it to dry matte you have to put a top coat on it I think this is a really nice polish for your toes I don't like it on my fingers but for the toes it's awesome especially with the tan doesn't have the best formula, kind of hard to work with, but the color is amazing. The next one I have is my favorite nail polish ever. This is the Jolie G Cabana Boy. It looks like this. It's a blue-purple color. I featured it in my favorites this month for June, for the year, for my life. Favorite, favorite nail polish ever. Julie G nail polishes are probably one of the best nail polishes I've ever bought, used, tried, purchased. Love the line, love the brand, great colors, great formula, love it. Um, the next one I have is Wet n Wild Mega Last in On a Trip. And here's the swatch. This is one of the ones that has the wide brush, which all the Wet n Wild Mega Last polishes do which makes application very quick and very easy. Let's see if I can do this without dripping it on our deck. My husband would not like that. And I'd never get it off. Um, so there's that one. And then this is Zoya in Julie. And it's just a light lavender color with silver shimmer. Very pretty. And here's the swatch of that one. I hope you can see these out here. Then I have China Glaze Strawberry Fields. This is a magenta color with gold shimmer. And here's the swatch for that one. Very pretty. Um, looks really pretty on the nails. Obviously. Or they wouldn't be in this video. Sometimes they say stuff and I'm like, What? What are you talking about? Okay. This is Orly <laughs> Oh Cabana Boy. I, this is the one I have on my fingernails today. It's a bright pink, hot pink, with a blue-purple undertone. It has like a shimmer to it, or a um, like a sheen, kind of changes color. And here's a swatch on the nail, on the nail wheel. Very pretty. Then I have "I Need a Refreshment" by Wet n Wild, and it's like a mint color. This is not an exact dupe for I Need a Refreshment by China Glaze, but it is a doable color that looks similar to it if you don't want to spend the money on China Glaze or you, that you can't find it. Sally's Beauty Supply has China Glaze though, so if you're ever looking for China Glaze, Sally's and Alta. And then I have NYC in Spring Tulip, and here's the swatch of that one. It's a pink coral color, very pretty. It does dry really fast, so it is really nice for that. <clears throat> then I have Zoya Blue. And this is just, this is in their new line. Either spring or summer, I'm not sure. It's a very pale, pale robin's egg blue. And I messed up the swatch a little bit. I kind of touched it. As you can see, it's on my hand. So that's why it's messed up. But it's very pretty. Blues and greens are hard colors like you have to find the right blue for you and the right green for you because they don't always work for everybody i have one by julie g um kicking it which i saw on melissa which is mel mph 
here on YouTube, it looked amazing on her and I bought it and I put it on and it looked horrible on me. Like I couldn't even stand looking at it for the day that I was at work. I couldn't wait to come home and take it off. That's how bad it was. Nothing wrong with the formula, nothing, nothing wrong with that. It was just the color didn't look good on me. Then I have this one in Bubblegum Pop by Wet n Wild Mega Blast. This is a newer polish I just bought. I wore it once this week, but I really, really liked it. It's so bright. Um, it doesn't dry matte and doesn't dry ultra shiny either. It's kind of in between. So if you do want something shinier, you will need a top coat with this one as well. And the last one I have is Jolie G Crushed Candy. And um, it's like a textured nail polish with glitter. And it's right there. I really like these because normally glitter polish is really hard to get off. But this one isn't. Like you have to scrub a little bit, but it's not like... 20 minutes later, you're still working on the first nail, putting effort into it, really trying to rub it. It comes off pretty darn easy, so it's a really nice polish. All right, that is all my summer polishes. Here's all the colors on the color wheel. Really, really pretty. Um, highly recommend Cabana Boy by Jolie G. That's the best nail polish I think I've ever purchased. So there they are. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you soon. Bye.